Hey, why don't we do a little catch up with Callie? Uh, well, I'm, I'm a little nervous. What, no. we're, what are we catching well, up with? You know, here's what I did. Okay. I stalked your Facebook page this morning. I'm sorry, that sounds really boring. <laughs> it's really, <laughs> wait, you boring? <laughs> Never. Your life, like I was looking at going, oh my God, your life is glamorous. It's in the fast track, always. It's so exciting, and you've got some great stories. You've been on some great trips. So I just pulled some photos. Okay. So let's take a look at the photo, and this then you is, just I'm tell me. I'm surprised, too. Okay, look at this. Gorgeous. Oh, that was this weekend. That's we, gorgeous. We're birthday buddies. We yes, celebrate, we celebrate, um, we're like a day apart. We're day, 25th days, and 27th. So two days apart. So I was in Vegas this weekend celebrating my birthday, and that's my fiance, Seth. Oh, where are you? That looks beautiful. That's at Wynn. Yes. Oh, do you see at Wynn? I've never so, been. Yes, it's beautiful, beautiful. So Wynn has the, you know, obviously Sister of Bellagio with the flowers and things yeah. like that. So I love it. It's gorgeous, bright colors. Okay. <laughs> I love that one. Okay. Yes. Oh, Julie. Julie is my girl. I just love this photo. So, I thought it was so much fun. Julie, Julie and I worked together at Missouri State. We're both diehard Bears fans. And now she works at OMB with me. So we oh. got to make that trek together to OMB. She, I call her my work mom. So Ju <laughs> Julie literally <laughs> makes sure that I can function every day. This girl, she keeps me in line, and I am so grateful I just love that when I was scrolling, I said, I just love your smile. She is family. You guys look just beautiful she, and happy. She is actual family so we met you know six years ago oh this is mexico oh, i celebrated new year's in mexico this now what year. are you sitting on because i want it's a chair a like that it's a oh. swing i felt like i was on a like a cloud you know just oh. like fly, flying so that looks amazing yes so yeah that was oh, wow. oh this is a special one so i got engaged in december and my fiance he um had a proposal planner and they rented out a rooftop in wow. new york city what yes, who does that i know he is the most romantic person ever like literally oh my of all time gosh. So, yes there we were we went to see the rockettes afterward and went and saw the rockefeller Christmas by the way tree. your your nails are beautiful by the way well thank you yeah i, I was gonna say like your nails sparkle. are sparkle i always like a sparkle oh. sparkle Perfect. yes that was at a wedding we went to in Little Rock right after we got engaged. So, I mean, we're, That's we're going all the time. Go, go, go. I love Little Rock. I Great guess town. it is. It was beautiful. That was gorgeous. Oh. You know I had to put that in. Of course. There's Come on. 22-year-old Callie. That was part of the um, reality TV show I did, Breaking Greenville, in 2015. Can you tell us who those people are now? Give us their names again. So, yes. Yeah, so, I'm in the black to the, my, the yellow. That is Lucy Bigger. She was at the other TV station. <laughs> Um, and then my TV station was behind me. So um, the one that you always mention, Steve Schill, he has the vest on. <laughs> Love he him. was our meteorologist. And then my co-anchor, Vernon, is behind me. Oh, yes, he I see him. He was my yeah. meteorologist. So, and then the other side, that was the other station. So, yeah, I good memories. It. Good memories. I had to. I had to put that yes, in. Yes. It was, you know, it was a, a time of my life. Mm -hmm. um, I am grateful for the experience. Well, that's what you had that experience, though. Yeah. Like, you know, and then you'll have that the rest of your life. And be like, look what I did. And yes. maybe one day you'll show your kids, look what mommy did. I know. I know. I loved seeing. It was a fun, it was a fun time. And mm -hmm. some just like fun nuggets. So Subway, I was their like spokesperson. So in every single episode, there was product placement of Star. Are you um, kidding? Subway. That. I noticed yes. You did notice. So you'll see I did with like a Subway cup or um, I would take a sandwich. So there was a food artist that came on set, <laughs> two food artists. And so their whole job was to like make sandwiches look good. Wow. So this is a little nugget of information. They put Vaseline on like the lettuce. Oh, and you and couldn't eat it? You couldn't eat it. So they'd be like, you can take a bite of this big of a place. And then they would also put toothpicks in the sandwich to like make it, you know, keep, keep it, it shape. shape. So if I was doing a scene with a sandwich, they would have like <laughs> eight sandwiches. And they'd be like, okay, this is where you can take a bite out of. So, yes. I, my mind is blown right it was, now. So that was probably, people were like, what's the coolest thing? I'm like, probably the sandwich artist. Like, these <laughs> people came that's from New York City. Had. I thought that you only had Subway there. Yeah, you're like, this girl eats a lot of Subway. <laughs> which I did, but I, yeah. Am, they, am I an idiot that I didn't notice that? Um, it's that very bad? subtle. Like, you'll see me, I had Subway cups, or I'd be eating a sandwich, like, on my way to the gym, you know. Wow. It okay, was, Okay. then another follow-up question. Yes. Now that I've learned about the sandwiches, okay. when you were doing a scene, uh -huh. would would they set up the scenario, or would they tell you what to say, or did you have a script, or how did it work? Okay, I don't know. Are you allowed like, to say? I don't, I don't know. Ruin, no, I can say. I don't want to ruin reality TV for people. Okay, let's put it this way. <laughs> the scenario, how it played out, was natural. But the scenarios we were put in <laughs> wasn't always natural. Okay. So they might put me in a situation where it would be like, I wouldn't necessarily go to lunch with the 
competing anchor at the other station. Other station. So they would put us in these situations, and then it would play out how it would play okay, out. Okay, so let's say you guys had to go to lunch. Now go and see what happens. Yes. Like, talk. Yes. They wanted me the whole time I was there. They're like, I want you to go on a date. I want, I'm like, I'm not going on a date. <laughs> like, I don't have time to date. I, you know, I was 22. That was the furthest thing from my mind, but they really wanted it. It, I didn't make it happen for them. Oh, Can I ask gosh. a question? Did you get paid more to do both the Ink Like Your Real show and that show? So yeah, Oh, yeah. We got paid for the good. reality for the, show. Yes. Thank goodness. Yes. Oh, good, good, good. <laughs> thank goodness. I mean, especially because, you know, as we know, small market TV stations doesn't necessarily pay the most. Yeah. So wow. Because um, we, I mean, I didn't sleep. When I say I didn't sleep, because I would do, you know, my morning show and do the whole regular yeah. job. And then I would shoot these scenes for the reality show. So wow. about four hours a night. Well, you know what's kind of fun is producer Jake has put together a game in the second hour called Breaking Springfield, oh, where no. we might have even put in those scenarios. Oh, I can't wait. Stop. I can't and we'll wait. See. Oh, we're seriously doing it, it Natalie. Is. You can join us. It's our <laughs> acting debut. Yes. This okay. Show we'll be back right after this. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> I can't wait for that now. I'm like, I feel like I'm on the show with you. Breaking Springfield. Springfield.